I'm going to have you now play with the salmon since your daughter's okay. on a roll there. If you can see, I left the bones in here just so you can have a good time. Okay. If you can listen to that, can you yeah. hear that? Yes. That run of bones, if you guys can take a look at that. See that, that ring of bones that are right, mm -hmm. right along there? Yes. I'm going to have you grab this. We've got a little cup of water. Got a little uh, rag, and you're going to use these tweezers. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I'll use my wife's I, you know, tweezers and things like that. And you don't tell her. Don't tell her. She'll, but she'll find out, though. When she <laughs> goes home and it smells it, I'm going to have you, uh, oh, that didn't work out very well. Just run right along. If you can grab it, mm -hmm. up, and then dip it in there, and it usually will come off pretty easy. So I'm going to have you try and do that. Okay. Hopefully you can do it. One thing good about a fresh salmon is they don't come out as easy as you want to. And if it doesn't, then you can just wipe it on there. Okay. So go ahead and try and follow along there with those guys. Okay. This guy on there, we're going to turn that down just a tiny bit. Let our leeks cook. Now you're going to put these little guys inside here. All right. So you're going to put a little bit, just like that. So we're putting our caramelized onions inside there like that. Can you do that? Yeah. I'm going to have you cut down, cut two, two wedges about that thick. Two, just, just yeah, like this. Right down through there, just like that. Put that guy to the just side. Like yeah. So we're going to put that, get rid of that, get rid of this guy. I'm going to have you pop those guys in the oven. It's not hot now, but later on it's going to be. So I'm going to have you salt and pepper this guy, just like we did earlier. Okay. Just like this? Yeah. A little bit on both sides. Okay. Perfect. Pepper? Yep. Too much? No, you're good. You just want to get it even across the top. You don't want one spot with a bunch of salt on it. You'll find that, definitely find that later on. Uh, you know, it's all, it's all good. To me, it's all good. You can use, usually I'll use the green part. The question was whether what's the best part of the leek. And usually it's that green part I'll use for the stocks and sauces and things like that. But you can see there's enough of the green in here also. It's all good flavor. Did we, did we flip them over? Yes, sir. Beautiful. So look at that. We're going to grab the olive oil, put a little bit in here. Our Puglia olive oil from uh, from Italy. It's amazing. What Tiny do you mean bit. by little? <laughs> Go for it. Give it a shot. Good. Done. Got to make sure. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, we got our potatoes in the oven. We're going to put our salmon. Go ahead and put it in there. Be careful because it's going to spatter. We're going to lean it down like this. Just like, like yeah. that. Go for it. Pan searing it. Right? Exactly. Pan sear with a Teflon pan. We'll make it easy. Easy enough. Then we're going to flip this guy. I'll give you that guy. You're going to flip him in. Okay. You've got about another minute. Okay, okay then I'm going to have you kind of wipe down with this uh, that black cloth. She, I'll have your daughter. She, she can do that. Just wipe down. Kind of wipe down the table there and clean up. Let me get this stuff out of the way. And Chef, you're really leaving those leeks alone. You're not... Just letting them do their own thing. They're going to just, just cooking and cooking and cooking, just slowly cooking. And you can do these ahead of time if you want to do these the day before or something like that. If, as I said, you want to... You want to try and get some things done, but they're just like anything. It's not as good as right when you pull it out of the pan, just like that. It's cooked and it has a bunch of flavor. You put it in the fridge, go ahead and flip them over. Oh, that looks good. Look at that. Wow. Dad's doing good. Daughter's doing good. Okay, we're going to pop. We're going we're gonna to let that sear in the pan. We're going to throw our shallots in there now. Because we're going to, the chopped ones, there you go. Put half that in there. We don't need all those guys. <laughs> we chopped up, just slice some shallots in there. We're going to. Go ahead and kind of wander those guys around so they okay. get, get cooked a little bit. We're going to pull the salmon out and put them in there. Did they pull them out? Now? Yeah. Oh, they cook quick. There you go. And then we're going to finish that guy in the oven. Okay. This is really hot. Go ahead and just put it in on top. It should fit next to the uh, yeah. next to those guys. And top sounds good. And these without getting without browning too much. We just want a tiny bit. See how that's going to that? We're going to mm -hmm. take our red wine, deglaze the pan. So anything stuck to the bottom of the pan is going to bring flavor. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. A lot of wine. Done. <laughs> and our leeks are going to stir our leeks a tiny bit. Okay, then I'm going to have you pick the, the thyme here. Mm -hmm. If you can just run this. Run your finger through it. Yeah. She's got it. Done. She's done. Yeah. Enough. It's going to be Haley's cooking show here pretty yeah, soon. Pretty soon. Yeah. So we're going to let that guy reduce down. Let's stir those guys a little bit. Good. Wipe it off because we don't want any of that red wine in there. So we've got our salmon in the oven. We've got our potatoes in the oven that should be doing good. Oh, this, this smells good. Mm -hmm. Just cooking. I'm going to add a tiny bit more water because those aren't quite cooked. I can tell just by looking at them. They need a, they need a little, bit more, little bit more water. You can add stock if you want to. This is almost a... Almost like a diet, though. If you can, could, could, could you call that a diet with all the butter I've already put in there? Probably not, huh? <laughs> if you look at it, have you butter seen Butter is that, good uh, for you, though. <laughs> What's that? Butter is better than margarine. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. You guys knew that, right? Yes. 
<laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what do they eat at the? What what what, <laughs> and what do they eat at the uh, at the firehouse? What did you have yesterday? Um, what I had yesterday, I actually was in a class, so I ate, ate at a, a cafeteria. But there's a lot of a lot of. I mean, they have to make food to where you can feed them. I mean, they got a lot of people. How many guys? Eat. It depends on what station you go to, the fire station. Uh, the station Your work, station yesterday, how many people did you Well, feed? actually, I work in training. How many questions do I need to ask this guy to find out how many people do Well, it depends. Did anybody eat anything yesterday, Jim? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As a matter, as a matter of fact, uh, the guys that sold guys' store the other day, they were uh, getting uh, some spaghetti and some sauce and things like that. They ate something. They had they spaghetti. spaghetti. Give them a hand. The guys had spaghetti at the fire station. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Right, let me check. I'm going to slide by here and take a look at our salmon. Let's see what our potatoes are doing here. Now, you can see this. Our, uh, our sauce is reducing down. We've got it pretty much to, to, to where we need it to be. We're going to salt and pepper a tiny bit of salt. Just a little salt? Yeah, a little bit of salt in there. We're going to pepper that because we haven't peppered that yet. That's good. Bob, does it matter what kind of salmon you use? Is there so this many is kinds out wild. there? we got wild salmon on this one. So we got this? A little bit in there, too, yeah? Perfect. We're doing this late because anytime you cook that pepper, anything, with a cracked pepper like that, it's just going to bloom. If that was to cook for another, if we were to put it at the beginning with all that water going, it would have just gotten so much heat. We've been really taking on a lot of heat. All right, we're going to, uh, what else do we need? I think we're good. Let's go ahead and uh, grab, your, grab your butter there. Mm -hmm. This should be a little bit colder than it is. It's been sitting out here for a second. Whenever you're making a sauce like this, we're going to emulsify. What we're doing is emulsifying the butter into the uh, red wine. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and do uh, two or three. So the colder that butter is, rather than the like it is now, when you can pinch butter, it's already started to break down. That's not great when you're trying to emulsify sauce. I'm going to let you stir that up just a little bit like that. Take this. We're going to finish it off. Haley, I'm going to have you come over here. We're going to finish it. I'm going to have you. Can you grab this? I'm going to have you scoop some of this out. Yeah. And put it. She's got it together, girl. Look at that. Go and do it. And just put a nice, put, put two little mounds, since we have two pieces of salmon. Mm -hmm. So you put one little piece over here and one little one little chunk there. A little bit further in, because we got to make it look sexy for like it's in a restaurant. We can charge more money. And make it look better. There you go. I'm going to have you grab our salmon, grab okay. our potatoes. Here, you need this? Yes. Yes. All right. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. We're going to push this guy over to the side. We're going to push this guy over the there. Right there. Yeah, that on top of there. We're going to set this down. Set that up. And now we're going to let you grab these. They're a little bit hot, but you're going to grab them like that. We're going to push this guy up just a tiny bit, and we're going to put those around the outside. They're not, they're not so hot that you can't grab them, so just go ahead and grab them and put them around the outside. There you go. Up, up. One more. We'll leave one in the pan. Dad's going to grab that. Dad's going to scoop out the salmon. He's going to put it on top of the two pieces of, uh, of leeks there. Okay. You're going to grab the thyme that you did. You're going to put it inside our sauce. About half that, but that's good. That's good amount. Put it inside there. Time's going in just at the last second, so it's going to have all those wonderful flavors. It's going to lose all their oils. are going to give off all that flavor. I'm going to have you. You want to sauce it or is Dad going to? I'm going to have you sauce it. What do you think? Go for it. You're going to get a little bit of juice, a little bit of those shallots underneath. Put that right across the top of the salmon like that. Just across like that because it, it is red and it won't look that pretty if you cover it up. So just go straight across the top like that. Look at that. That's it. Now just a little bit of juice and away we go. A little bit of that sauce. All right, perfect. Dad, sprinkle a little bit of micro chives on, or chervil on top of that dish. Hey, guys, just, a, yeah, yeah, just sprinkle it on top, make it look sexy, and away we go. Guys, give them a big hand. Was that not a great dish? <laughs> you guys hold this up. Let me give you, let me take it. Hold it up and show that guy right there. Give him a hand. Would you guys go sit down? I'm going to bring this over and we're going to try it. Yeah, Does that work?
Damien Haley, what an incredible job. Our wild salmon, buttered leeks, little stuffed potatoes with the medallions. You did a great job. The little red wine, the beau rouge, as they say in, uh, in French, a little red wine butter to go with that. Alongside of that, we've got this incredible beer, Augustine beer from uh, Belgium, just outside of Ghent. 300-year-old recipe, if you can imagine. They've been making this for that long. And a uh, little, little on the lighter side, if you can say lighter side, for a Belgian beer like this. Fun stuff. Give it a try. Gang, what do you guys think? Give it a try. Try it out. Everybody's waiting. Try it out. Give them a big hand to begin with. Let's give them a hand. They did a great job. Our next question of the day comes from Everett Lee from Vail, Colorado, asking me, Chef Bob, help. I want to buy some pots and pans. I've been working in the restaurant industry for 15 years, and I'm looking at these aluminum pans. What are your thoughts? I tell you, Everett, I've uh, been in the industry for 30 years. I worked in France for 11 years, and 30 years ago, France banned all aluminum use of any kind in the restaurant industry, so you will not find an aluminum pan in France. I think they know what they're talking about when it comes to health, so stay away from the aluminum, the aluminum pans, and I know you're saying every restaurant, every hotel in this country uses them. Maybe it'll wake somebody up and say, hey, <laughs> what are we doing wrong? Anyway, take a look at copper, very expensive. Stainless steel on the inside if you can. I know it's expensive. Or if you can go stainless steel, just as good. And if not, there's an anodized uh, aluminum now that's really good. Get what you can. Get what you can afford. Stay away from the aluminum. Hopefully that helps you out. But the only thing I've found out in this country to try and keep your health is to eat what you don't want, drink what you don't like, and do what you'd rather not do. This program is made possible by the Charleston, South Carolina Convention and Visitors Bureau, offering visitors, meeting planners, tour professionals, and wedding planners travel information on one of the South's oldest destinations, Charleston, where history lives. And by South Carolina Department of Parks, Recreation, and Tourism. And by these funders. With additional funding provided by Whole Foods Market. To purchase this episode or the entire You Cook series, call 1-800-553-7752. Order online, www.etvstore.org. Or write to the address on your screen. Major credit cards accepted.